So when you're working on something and you think it's really special, you should be sharing it with others. So we're going to talk about today sharing our Next.js project that we made in the last video to Vercel. So welcome to the Dev Method. My name is Ricky. Uh, I'm going to be taking you through here Vercel. Um, there's actually a lot of really great pros and cons to Vercel. I've never used it, so we're learning together for the first time. Um, so right now, all I've, all I've done so far is just look at the website. Um, I think that's a good place to start. And it actually is a solution for many different types of web projects. So they show right here, so Gatsby, React, Next.js, there's even Vue, Angular. I scrolled down a little bit further, saw Ember on there, very cool. All really great frameworks and one place to put it. Uh, I guess it works with more than 30 Jamstacks. Uh, we're gonna do a git push and then it's gonna deploy it to an edge network. Uh, you're gonna see it in code review, a preview. And then it looks like here is a visualization of, uh, you know, sites going up onto the internet. And uh, all you have to do is use an existing project in GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, and integrates with that. So it's some sort of Git hooks um, in those services. So, yeah, I think we should try using it. So let me move on over to our code editor, Let's see if we can get it up and running. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Hopefully the text here is nice and big for you so you can see while watching. Um, I changed the contrast a little bit because I know some people needed some better visuals. So here you are. Um, I don't even remember what this looks like, but it doesn't matter. Um, I currently have this as a Git repository. So I'm if I do uh, git init, or I'm sorry, git log, git init is to start a Git repository. Um, and then git add is going to be adding different files. So if I had a file called ricky.txt, uh, I would say ricky.txt. But if that file was in the source folder or pages folder here, um, I'd have to do pages slash and then file name. So that's what we have so far. Um, the whole point here uh, is to see what we have to commit to Git, and then we're gonna put it on GitHub. So here's, okay, got some crossed out things, I guess, because we're not using JavaScript. So let's add all those changes. Let's add all of these untracked changes. Cool, here we are, ready to go. I'll just say uh, initial commit for TypeScript, because that's what we did. So you want to leave a Git message there about what the changes actually were. Um, you want to try and keep the changes small, but you also, in between each one, make it a little bit logical as, a, as in like a story. It doesn't necessarily have to be chronological. Um, you might have to span your feature or your bug fix or your patch. Um, to multiple different files. So I wouldn't do one file at a time, but maybe parts of the file that makes sense to go together, you should do. So like if you're adding a new function, um, that would be one. And then when the function is used in a bunch of different files, um, depending on what the feature is that it affects, maybe separate them out. So like some of the functions in one of the subfolders and then another subfolder, a bunch of function uses there. That's the idea. But this is uh, not a story necessarily about git commit messages, but that's why I'm putting mine in here. I'm just saying I changed it so that we could have uh, TypeScript. And I also added in a, uh, a picture, a tiger picture. Um, cool. So commit that. Now, how do we get it up on GitHub? So um, I'm going to use the website here to just get it up there. Got to verify. Okay, so don't watch this part. It's secret stuff. Ooh, here we go. Full name, uh, username. Pal, that sounds like a good have a good name. Put this right up here. There I am with Phil's coffee. Great coffee by Phil's. 
Avatar updated. Cool. So I guess that's the first step. Username and your actual name. And a picture if you'd like. Okay, enter the URL of a Git repository to deploy to. Hmm. I don't have one. Can I can I continue? No, I'm gonna need one. All right, cool. So uh, I got here. I'm the owner. I gave it a repository name because I'm gonna be the owner. And uh, I put in a description. I'm gonna make it public. You guys can check it out at home. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, add. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't need any of those things. That's fine. Oh, I could have chosen a license. No, that's fine. Okay, so now how do I get this ready to go? I think I do get add remote, something like that. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it, this is the one. Um, and I gotta use main. Okay. Uh, get checked out, main. There we go, now we're on the main branch. It's got all the updates. Uh, paste all this stuff in here, and I think I just go like that. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, just ran this git remote origin to the GitHub repository. Uh, git branch dash m main. I don't know what that means. Uh, and then git push origin main. I'm not sure what that does either. Um, I do know Git branch is all about branches. Uh, I usually use it just to list the branches. And then Git push uh, takes your changes from wherever you currently are in your branch up to the server. So it looks like maybe that's what you means is up. I guess I could look up all these things, but if you guys want some information about Git and command line Git of what I'm doing right now, please go ahead, drop a... Um, something in the comments below so that I know that that's what you want to see. Otherwise, I'm going to just kind of skip over that. You guys go uh, look up that stuff online somewhere. Um, other than that, I think we are ready to go. If I was to reload the site now that I've uploaded everything. Okay, great. So now I think this is the URL that it needs. I'm going to take that URL, put it in here, continue, Let's see. Oh, that's me, Buzz Lightyear. Um, if this is your personal account, is this your personal? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Um, personal account. Great, cool. Just getting things all set up. Install on your personal account. All repositories? No. Select repositories. This guy. Just that one. All right, cool, just that one. Read, read write for admin, code check. Oh yeah, here it is, repository hooks. I guessed it. Install, ooh, password. Uh, don't look. Okay, password's in, project name, that's fine. Oh, build output. Yeah, we're just gonna take the defaults. Yeah, no environment variables. No encrypted environment variables. Those live on the server so that you don't have to worry about those spilling over onto the, the client. But look at that, it's cloning. Analyzing, build. Look at how fast it build. Looking up build cache, won't find one. Yep, build cache not found. Installing dependencies, shouldn't be too long for that. Whoa, got some warnings. Ooh, failed. Why? All files must be modules when the isolated modules is provided. Oh man. Well, we gotta test this out. Why did this happen? npm run build. Okay. npm run build. Did it work? We're gonna find out. Oh, it didn't. So why didn't this work? Oh, look at that. I got something called section and nothing's in it. So 
what if I take that and remove it? And before I deploy it back up to Vercel for it to do its thing, um, let's just run the command again that it would run, which is npm run build. And it looks good. Looks like it's doing something. Yeah, that looks further along than before. Great. OK, that's what I needed. Um, so that's mistake. OK, removed unused file. Perfect description. Done. Git push. Push it up to GitHub. There it goes. It's on GitHub now. Now. Go back. I just said deploy. It's going to pull it again. Oh, yeah, look. Remove unused file. Perfect. Now I know what that means. Otherwise, I'd have to go click on this and see what changed. But now I have a, a really small title knowing what, exactly what changed. And I tested it out before, so this should work. Got the warnings like before. That's OK. Ooh, there it goes. Now, it's not formatted very well, just because it's a small little section. Oh, look at that. Congrats. Cool. Oh, look, there's, a, there's the page I made. Yeah. OK, let's visit it. Oh, look at that. It's a real website. Oh, and it does have my tiger. It has my tiger. Cool. I can go back home. I can go to the Ricky page, and I can go back home, <laughs> and that's it. That's all we got. But we have something deployed now, which I guess also means any changes we make will get deployed as well, right? Yeah, I think that's what that means. So let's see. Open the dashboard. There it is. Hello, Next.js. Look at that. That's me drinking a fills. I uh, got the GitHub integration. I have the production development deployed. Deployment, production deployment of my development. And it's deployed. Uh, no previews. Deployments that are currently being worked on. Okay. It looks like anytime we publish to main, which is the default branch, that's when it's going to put it up there. Um, so let's test that out. Let's see, what could we add? All right, um, let's change, where does it say index page, index page? Yeah, let's call this home page, okay? Now this is gonna be on the main branch, right? So if I did updated index, page title. Boom. In there, up, now git push. Push is it. Now if I go here, is there going to be anything that happens automatically? Am I going to see anything? Uh, maybe reload. Still says index page there. Well, look at that. There it is. Upcoming. Building. Okay, cool. Yeah, updated. Oh, look at this. I get a little preview here. Created 24 seconds ago. Yeah, look, homepage. Okay, great. Now let's check a feature. So usually I'll do git checkout dash b, meaning like create the branch if this doesn't already exist. So this does two steps. It creates the branch and then it also checks out that branch, meaning like any changes you are committing will go to that branch branch that you're currently on. So I'm currently on main. I know that for my really cool, um, I forgot which style this is called. I think it's called Fox. But yeah. Um, and I usually have like feature and then I say some cool feature. 
And my cool feature is going to be, I don't know. We're going to put another H1 uh, with an emoji. And we're going to use the robot emoji. I think that looks good. Added robot emoji in git push. Now here it always says, hey, this isn't up online anywhere. So you got to run this cool command. I just copy and paste it. It just means that this branch doesn't exist on Git. Again, I'm talking a lot about Git, but this isn't really a Git video. It's about deploying. Um, but as you can see, version control really actually can tie in nicely and help you make a complete story of, the, of deployment. Um, so here we go. It's set up. It's pushed. Now, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, look at this. So these are previews. Very cool. Um, it's got a, okay, its own little URL to go and check it out. Very cool. Yeah, added robot emoji. Yeah. So I bet, like, not really sure what's, what do we have, what do we have to know here? Yeah, here's... Okay, so we have the actual app, and then here's some cool feature, and then this was, oh, so these are previous deployments, I can go back, but um, this is the main one here, because it says branch is main. Okay, cool. Um, settings, here we go, project settings, domains, oh, look at that, you can do a custom domain, I bet. Let's see, edit. Redirect to, oh, cool, cool. Or like here, yeah, S like something mywebsite.com, great. Here's the Git integration, that's already all set up. Environment variables, if you have to store some sort of secrets, um, they'll be encrypted in storage, but then decrypted with your credentials um, to then be used in the app somehow. Um, but of course, you know, don't put those credentials those values in the UI or anything like that. Don't console log them. That means people can still see them. Um, oh, yeah, look at log protections. Look at that. Okay, cool. You can't go there. All right. Advanced. <laughs> delete it. I don't want to delete it. I think it's great. Awesome project. Uh, there's my deployments. And then here's my overview. Just the one page. Um, now, this deployment here is ready for us to check out, so I'm going to open it up in a new tab. And here's the build logs. Oh, yeah, and then look, there's our robot there on the page. Let's visit it. Yeah, there's our robot. Cool. So we did a deployment um, in only a few steps. So we had to make sure we had our, our source code under version control. We chose GitHub as the service, so just got it up on there, use it following some of the instructions after creating a repository from the GitHub website. Uh, and then um, we ran into a problem uh, after we tried to deploy and, and set up the first cell deployment. Um, we had to delete a file, and then we, we fixed that um, when we saw that the development um, ran fine. So npm run build is what it was doing. I guess you can customize that if you wanted to. It was letting us, but we didn't have to do that. And then um, we got it up online, and I've now learned not only how to deploy the first cell, uh, but I learned that any of my new branches, whatever the latest code is there, I have a preview of it right away that anybody can see. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, and look, there's so many other things that it, it looks like it can do. Environment variables, uh, custom domains. Let's see, something about functions. Yeah, I don't really have any uh, API functions quite yet, but maybe that'll come later in another video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you have questions, or um, if you just have a, a comment you'd like to share, something that maybe I missed or um, something that you want to talk about in the future, let me know in those comments. So thanks for watching. Later.